Inflation jumped in March as prices for consumer staples like gasoline edged higher and those for housing remain stubbornly high, suggesting inflation may be a bit stickier than seemed just a few months ago, economists said. The Consumer Price Index, a key inflation gauge, rose 3.5% in March from a year ago, the U.S. Labor Department reported Wednesday. That's up from 3.2% in February. CPI measures how fast prices are changing across the U.S. economy. It measures everything from fruits and vegetables to haircuts, concert tickets and household appliances. The March inflation reading is down significantly from its 9.1% pandemic-era peak in 2022, which was the highest level since 1981. However, it remains above policymakers' long-term target around 2%. Progress in the inflation fight has somewhat flatlined in recent months. The disinflation has stalled out, said Mark Zondi, chief economist at Moody's Analytics. The big rock in the way here is the cost of shelter, Zondi said. While housing costs have moderated, they account for the largest share of the CPI inflation index and are still growing strongly, he added. Despite progress having stalled, Broader evidence doesn't suggest a renewed surge in inflation, though it may take longer than expected to bring the rate back to target, economists said. In fact, underlying inflation after stripping out shelter costs is already back to target, Zondi said. I still hold to the view that inflation is moderating, Zondi said. It's just taking frustratingly long to get there. Meanwhile, there's a silver lining. Household buying power has risen over the past year. The average worker's real hourly earnings, their pay after accounting for inflation, increased 0.6% from March 2023 to March 2024. It had earlier declined for two years during the COVID-19 pandemic as high inflation eroded workers' paycheck growth, but that trend has since reversed. More from personal finance. What's wrong with TikTok's viral savings challenges? One million dollars homes are now typical in record number of U.S. cities. Woes eligible for Biden's new student loan forgiveness plan. It's still, broadly speaking, a rewarding environment out there for workers, said Mark Hamrick, senior economic analyst at Bankrate. The job market remains supportive and wage gains are helping to unwind some of damage done by the historic surge in inflation. Gasoline prices increased 1.7% from February to March, the Bureau of Labor Statistics said. This figure is adjusted to account for seasonal buying patterns. Average U.S. pump prices were $3.52 a gallon on April 1, up from $3.35 on March 4, according weekly data published by the Energy Information Administration. The increase is largely attributable to higher oil prices. They've firmed amid a generally positive outlook for the global economy, meaning greater global oil demand, and controlled output among major oil-producing nations, meaning there hasn't been a glut of oil, economists said.